Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are paying attention to our uh, tree debacle, uh, this is going to be the final update and we're going to get back to our, well, irregularly scheduled program, uh, starting with uh, putting an exhaust on my Camaro, which got banged up pretty good here. To start off, uh, you probably saw my last video where I kind of went on a, a little rant. Uh, yeah. I meant it, every single word. F you jerks. <laughs> uh, but for this video here, we're not gonna go on a rant. Today, uh, I'm gonna give you an update. We still have wood here for some godforsaken reason. Uh, it was supposed to be picked up, but uh, then it snowed. Like, it was supposed to be a dusting. We got like three inches. It's like, what the heck? Pennsylvania weather is so crazy. So uh, there is no track tonight, as far as I know. So I don't feel that bad that I'm missing it. Um, I'm down to like one car, one race car and one uh, daily car because the wife's car got hit, uh, got a, a bent rim with something else. My CTSV is getting a stroker, like, like the Camaro is gone. Like it's like, holy shit. So I've been driving my like highly modified Corvette and if that thing explodes, at the racetrack, then I'm completely down and uh, we'll have nothing to drive around in, which would really suck. Um, they did come back with uh, a number on my car. The damage is estimated somewhere between eighteen and nineteen thousand uh, dollars. It is not enough to total it, and apparently there's no structural damage that is going on. But there is going to be a lot of repair, which really sucks. But I guess it's not as bad as I thought. I'm. Uh, I still kind of want to get rid of it. Don't be surprised if I do some fancy trade-in, you know, thing where I wind up with a, another ZL1, modify it really quick with everything that I got going on, and uh, it's a different color. Uh, but if I don't find that deal or can't make that deal happen, this is probably going to be one of those things where I end up with the same car, hopefully everything working, and, uh, you know, Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't fall apart. Um, I'm really excited to see what she does still, and uh, I'm hoping that whatever body filler and shit that they put on will uh, will not be an issue. Next update: Eric's car, uh, Eric's GTI, was uh, estimated at like, somewhere between seven and eight thousand dollars in damage. So that one's also getting fixed. So uh, that's. Honestly, that's slightly disappointing. Uh, estimating at about a month to fix that one as well. Uh, and uh, uh, he's driving like a Sentra, it's, which really, really sucks. Uh, Ethan's car, that's the S10, has been totaled. It is confirmed that that is totaled. He got uh, a nice you know, chunk there for it. And, uh, I mentioned that in the last video. And uh, the customer who I just got off the, uh, well, who I've been talking to uh, pretty often about everything, and he is enjoying these videos. Hopefully he enjoys this one as well. Um, he His car looks like it is repairable. Um, the, they didn't finalize the estimate, but it's uh, uh, coming a little less than mine so far, so the, uh, the car is going to be fixed, and uh, when that's done, which they're estimating a month, uh, then we'll do the work on it, which, you know, we'll, we'll see how it all goes. I'm, I'm hoping to find a way. I've been discussing, you know, funny ways to, uh, to get things, like, moving with him and with me in terms of uh, maybe hopping out of these cars and, you know, getting into another one and getting back up and running a little bit sooner than the, uh, uh, the estimate. Um, so that's... That's kind of where we're at at the moment, and uh, uh, let's take a look at what else is going on at the shop. So as I was saying about the wife's Corvette, the uh, I was driving it. We got it all back together. We did change the converter out. Uh, maybe, you know what, I'm going to throw a little montage. We changed the converter out because the converter sucked. So here's a little montage of us changing the converter out and getting a stock converter in there. and. Uh, yeah, enjoy real quick. And we're back. So the car actually drives really great. I was driving it, but I did notice that it was pulling to the left a little bit. And uh, 
Uh, it was at night. I was taking it home to give it back to the wife to drive since her car is down. She got, like, T-boned, basically. And uh, um, crazy thing happened. Crazy thing. The damn damn uh, uh, car pulled left a little bit because the tire was probably a little low right into a freaking half a foot deep pothole and bent the rim and killed the tire. So that car went down. Again, the only car that's running is this and my Corvette now. Everything else is like off the market. I got six cars and uh, we're... <laughs> we're like down to nothing that we can take all the kids with except for the Cadillac. So you know what's going to happen? The Somebody's going to hit the Cadillac. And now I don't have like a rental policy on my car because we had so many like cars. And now it's like, holy shit, now I need to rent something and I don't have anything to rent. It's insane. So that sucks. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that, that's where it is in my personal life. It's a curse has happened. And, uh, uh, but the shop is back up and running. We are doing good. Uh, we're closing up for the weekend. I know that I'm posting this on the weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, uh, little update with, uh, the wife's red lemon and, uh, uh, that hopefully, thanks to my buddy CJ, hopefully we'll be back on the road today. Um, you know, if, and and if it is, that would be great. Because you know what? It's driving really nice. I think that it's become a really nice car. We put a new water pump on it, new rad, all sorts of, you know, stuff. And there's there's a couple little things that still need to be touched up. But, but this car, like, when I was driving it around, it was like, it's like, damn, I could get used to a C5. Well, guys, I got some good news. Uh, the wheel for the... Uh, Red Lemon was fixed by uh, my buddy CJ and uh, what we're gonna do now and also need a new tire uh, what we're gonna do now is we are going to take the Red Lemon over to our local shop and see if they can do an alignment on it um, a lot of places can't really work on Corvettes but we'll find out if they can so we'll get in the car now see look at this Two turbo Corvettes in the garage. That's awesome. And then a bunch of snow outside, which is not awesome. So we're going to head on out and see if we can make the magic happen. So we're going to drop the wife's car off at Goodyear. Uh, they're going to do an alignment because it is still pulling to the left even after getting the rim fixed and a new tire. It could be that the suspension was damaged when it hit that pothole. But it could also be that, you know, it just needed an alignment, and that's why I was going left. I thought the tire was low, but maybe it's not. The wife is picking me up in my own car because her car is down. And look at that. Getting the red lemon sir. Well, so unfortunately, the vet is too low to get on the lift. I mean, it's, it's because of the rear mount turbo system. The, there is a pipe that hangs kind of low, and... Uh, I guess that was a little too close and well that sucks so we're getting back in the red lemon and we will uh, have to find a, a different place uh, to do the uh, the alignment I don't know when I guess I'll be driving it for a little bit to uh, and because I don't want the wife driving it well she's pulling to the left so no biggie uh, it's definitely better safe than sorry I guess because now, as a shop owner, you definitely don't want certain liabilities uh, that can be avoided. Like, you know, I wouldn't do anything for for this, but you know, they don't know me, and they don't know what uh, you, you know, <laughs> people that you know you think would would not do something. Uh, sometimes they turn out to be the people that would, and it's just, you know, it's always a cover your ass thing. So we'll find another location and do go from there even with this thing slightly pulling to the left i will tell you that i really do enjoy driving this like with the factory torque converter in it it uh it drives so much it was so much better that vigilante was shit not saying that vigilante makes shit converters or anything like that but uh the one that was in the car was definitely shit uh it was as loose as can be didn't put any power to the ground and then 
uh, unless you locked it up. So I think that there was just something wrong with the converter itself. Um, this car did come to us with a, a little bit of uh, issue, so I'm kind of not surprised about that, but I think that we're getting her almost fully taken care of. So now to park her into the garage next to the uh, the other vet, the other turbo vet, and uh, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll explore a new location for uh, alignment as soon as we can. We're expecting like 10 inches of snow, so that sucks. So since we couldn't get the alignment, I'm not a hundred percent ready to let Kristen start dailing this thing so that, uh, that kind of sucks we'll figure it out and get somebody to align this and make sure that the suspension is okay for her to drive and once that's done we will get her behind the wheel oh my god that's so scary so guys I hope you enjoyed today's update um, it is the final update at least for a while because now that all the cars have had a decision made uh, there's going to be no more updates until everything is uh, taken care of. So when that gets done, you'll get another update, but I wouldn't expect to see much about it for another month or so, unless we have some critical update like, hey, they found something really bad with some of the cars, and they are actually totaling it out. Right now, it's just the one car, the S10, that got totaled, and everything else is going to be fixed. In uh, one of the last videos, one of the comments said I should rename my car the Tree L1. And I really, really like that. I think that's hilarious. If I keep this car, it will be the Tree L1. I think that's, I just love it. I, I fell in love with that comment. It was awesome. Also, if you played the drinking game from the last video, um, rest in peace. Because I said like way too many times. Like way too many times. <laughs> See what I did there? Anyway, we're going to head out here. And hopefully the Red Lemon will be up and running soon. I'll keep you guys posted on that. But for the next video, it will be the Camaro getting its exhaust before it got crushed. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I thank you for sticking with us through this, this uh, process. Especially if you're new to the channel and joining us and... You know, seeing what kind of shit happens in the real world. Uh, thank you for subscribing and uh, uh, thank you for the kind comments on the last video. And uh, well, we'll see you on the next one coming up soon. Have a great day, guys.